Hello everyone, I'm Jai Tubi. And I'm Hopeless for Romance. And we bring another fine fan fiction of My Lion King 3, Simba's Pride of the Next Generation, Chapter 7, Kiara is Kidnapped and Sacrificed, Part 1. Music by Nick Langsmith. And all art belongs to you. Sorry if I sound like I have a little cold uh, going on in my voice, but uh, uh, yeah, it happens. Okay, here we go, Chapter 7, Kiara Kidnapped and Sacrificed, Part 1. Explore like she always did. She was about to run down the promontory when she felt a pressure on her tail. Whoa, where do you think you're going in a hurry? Simba asked his daughter, cheerfully as he's grinning down at grinning down at her. Daddy, let go, Kiara giggled and tried to free herself from her father. Well, I just want you to be careful. He looked down at his daughter and battered as she batted down a butterfly, obviously playing, paying no attention to her father. Kiara, are you listening? Accidents can happen. You could easily get hurt. Kiara cut him off. Hurt or step down or even get lost. I know. Simba smiled down at her. And remember, I want you to stay close to Pride Rock at all. All times I know she cut him off again. And if I see any strangers, don't talk to them. Come straight home, okay? Okay, can I go now? Please? Hmm, very funny, Simba said. Mind your father, Kiara, Nala said, walking out of the cave. Yes, Mom, Kiara's ears uh, flattened down. Sorry, we're late, Mon Capitan! Timon and Pumbaa as they padded over to the family. Kiara looked exasperatedly up at her parents. Mommy, Daddy, why do I always have to be with Timon and Pumbaa? Why can't I play by myself? Simba and Nala exchanged concerned looks at each other. Kiara, dear, we love you uh, very much and we don't want to lose you, Nala said. Yes, your mother is right. We just don't want, we want you to be safe. Therefore, we want you to stay uh, away from the Outlands and stay safe, Simba said. Daddy, I don't understand. You'll understand someday, said Simba said gently, petting his daughter on the head and uh, causing her to purr softly. Gyam, come on, Princess Kiara, we'll play sm snail t tennis, Timon said excitedly. Have fun, Kiara, Nala said, beaming down at her daughter. And stay away, on, stay on the paths I marked for you, Simba said as Kiara... I left Pure-Eyed Rock with Timon and Pumbaa in tow. I don't trust Timon and Pumbaa anymore, Nala said as she turned to her husband. Remember their irresponsibility towards Copa? She's close to that age. You're right, she's bound to get in trouble. That's uh... That's right, did you know that our parents and the adults knew when we snuck out when we were kids, Nala asked? Really? Simba, that's right, so I uh, propose we send one of the birds to watch them, Nala said. Good idea, Sweet Lips. Simba suddenly switched into a very different mood. Nala looked over her mate and soon found out the uh, breath caught her, her throat and we saw a rather seductive look in Simba's eyes. Nala and Simba were about to be a little more, bit more intimate when Buddy flew in. Ah, oh, fuck, Nala mouthed to her mate. Buddy, what do you want? Nala asked furiously. I'm sorry to interrupt, but Tiza is sick with the flu, and Colonel Kula is too busy in the morning party she needs to lead, so... Fine, Buddy, that'll do. Nala ground, ground her teeth in annoyance. Buddy, I have a job for you, Simba said. What's that, Daddy Simba? I want you to spy on Kiara, Timon, and Pumbaa. Keep a sight on just 
I mainly stay focused uh, focused on my daughter. Sure thing, Daddy Simba. Freddy flew off to find Kiara to Mona and Goomba. As he got close, he heard them arguing. He got closer and stayed out of sight on a nearby rock. I told you, Princess. Your parents want you to be safe, Timon said. Yes, Kiara, your dad wants you safe, Pumba repeated. Mom, Pumba, I'm not just a princess, you know. That's uh, just the other half I am, Kiara whined. Oh, who's the other half, Pumba asked. Kiara struggled to get the answer. Well, while you are figuring, let's eat. Pumba lifts up a log and Timon grabs some grubs. Want some? Ew, gross. No, how about you, big boy? Love grubs, they said in unison. Just then Pumba took a bite and spat it out. Then they started to squabble about Slimy and Crunchy again. Kiara thought she had gotten away when Timon snapped out of the arguing. He cut Kiara off. And where do you think you're going, Kiara? To Timon scolding Kiara. Kiara's ears pinned down, uh, but went back up and thought she had an idea to get rid of them. Uh, nowhere. Oh, Pumba, can you get Mommy or Daddy? I forgot to ask them something. Yes, Kiara, Pumba leaving the two, like uh, the name means Sumbleton. If Timon and Kiara were alone, Timon turns to Kiara. Okay, Kiara, what you planning? Oh, uh, nothing. Hey, Timon, I think I see your mom approaching. Timon turned his back. Where? Kiara smacks Timon out with one paw as he's determined to find out uh, what was in the Outlands. But she didn't know that Bo Buddy was watching him from a distance. Kiara chased a butterfly and frolicked around till she reached the Outland border. The Outlands? Cool! I wonder what's out there. She ran and tumbled into Kovu who was just standing there. Who are you, Prylander? into defense mode. What are you doing? My father said never turn your back on an outsider. You always do what your daddy says. No. Ha! Bet you do. I bet you daddy's little girl. Just then Vitani showed up. looking for us, she said, sounding brainwashed. Hey, Vitani, this is my new uh, friend, Kiara. Kiara, I don't know you, but you're now part of this pride, unless Mom has something different for you planned. Kiara was about to leave when she uh, was surrounded by other lionesses. Uh, Buddy saw that and flew back to the Pride Lands to find Queen Nala. Cliffhanger, I don't know what will happen, do you? <laughs> That's the end of the cliffhanger of Chapter 7, Kiara Kidnapped and Sacrificed, Part 1. I am Johnny Tooby. And I'm Hopeless Romance. And music belongs to... Nick Glennie Smith. Thank you, and have a good night or a good day wherever you are.